G'day. Today we're going to have a quick look at the Roven EcoSpin washing machine. If you're looking for something while you're camping to get the laundry done, then this is one of the options that's on the market. So you can see here, this is what it's like. Pretty small, lightweight, easy to carry. Comes with inside the lid. The attachment for the washer. An extra handle to help you spin. And another attachment to get it turning. Also included, this is the spin basket which you can help spin your clothes at the end of it. Very simple to get going. To start with, throw in the washing attachment and the, uh, the spinner that goes on top, so the prongs point up. And then you can see here, these fit inside those little prongs to allow it to turn. To give a demo, I've got here some clothes to show you just how much it fits. So this is what I wore for a hike yesterday. So they absolutely stink. So a pair of shorts, a pair of grungies, a nice sweaty shirt, and I've got here a pair of socks. So you can see there that it fits a day's clothes, no worries, and there's still some room extra. To give it a crack, I've got another shirt. And that's about right there. The next thing you need to do, throw in some washing powder, throw in some water. So I've got here some washing powder. And just throwing in there about half a scoop. Already smells better. As for how much water, so this is a 10 litre jerry can of water. And I'm guessing it'll take most of this to get the wash done, but we'll see. So you just want the clothes floating in the water so that they can actually freely move around. There we go. So they're just starting to float now. So they should be able to wash pretty easy. So I'll just use the entire 10. So that's 10 litres of water for one hour. On goes the lid and then it just slides into place. Very important thing here, this hose needs to be above the level of the water, otherwise the water all drains out. All right, you now have everything that you need to wash the clothes. So pretty simple, instead of there being a machine that turns the water for you, you get to do it by yourself. If you've got kids, now's probably a good opportunity to give them a bunch of sugar and promise them money. So you can see there that it's spinning those clothes really well. And the idea is to move it back and forth just like a normal washer. If you want to make it a bit easier, it comes with another handle that you can stick in, and that way. If you've got somebody else, it's pretty handy so that you don't, you can see how the lid keeps coming back and off. You can either just use less pressure, or get somebody to hold the lid for you.
we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun So to take we'll take the lid off and you can see there our clothes all nice and clean. Alright, so now that the clothes are all clean, we need to get the dirty water out so that we can do the rinse. If you haven't got a bucket, now's a good time to get one. And try to make sure that your bucket can take all the water that's in here. So in this case, obviously 10 litres. The other key thing is that your bucket needs to be lower than the washing machine so that you can get the water out. Once you're ready, simply unhook the tube, take the cap off, and down she goes. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done it's like an Austin Powers movie, it just keeps going. All right. So once you get the water out, tube back up. Now it's time for a rinse. So that takes a bit, the same, about the same amount of water to rinse is what it did to wash. Again, making sure that your drain hose is above the level of where the water is going to end up. So I could probably stop there, but again, I'll just use the entire tin so that you can see how that works. So with the rinse water in, lid back on. And repeat the process. Again, you want to give it a good rinse. Get all the detergent off the clothes. Get the kids locked up on sugar. Promise them two bucks. Five bucks if you're from Melbourne. I don't know why Melbourne likes to give five bucks. Now, if you're smarter than me, you'll probably put a tab like a locking tab here or something like that just to keep that lid from spinning back and forth. I guess that'll be a job for next time. Tomorrow job. I'll do that tomorrow. Alright. After the rinse, time to drain the water. Tube off into a bucket and away she goes. Those of you that are good at high school physics will remember the more air you can let in the top, the more effective the drains will be. But that said, obviously uh, that's in a fair bit of air because she's draining really nicely there. Uh -oh, not much room left there, we go. 10 litre bucket. Fortunately, holds just over 10 litres of water. Oh, 
Lost the powers back again. Don't tell my wife I missed. All right. Ordinarily, you can give it another rinse. Um, the water's come out pretty clear that time, so pretty comfortable that they were uh, sweaty, not dirty. So we've managed to get uh, the clothes pretty clean. So now that the clothes have been rinsed, it's time to give them a dry. They come out, as you can see, sopping wet. Ordinarily, you'd be giving them a ring, but fortunately for us, this is where the eco spin comes into its own. So, washing machine out, spin basket in. Put the washing back in. And that's about as much as the spin basket can hold too, so that's really as much as you want to do in one load. All right, now for this one, you want to have the tube ready to go so that the water drains straight down into the bucket. It's probably a good way to extend that tube so that it hangs down, just hang something off there like that so that it stays pointed down. In this case, we're just gonna leave it. This is very simple. If you haven't given the, the kids enough sugar, now's the time to absolutely pump them in because you just wanna spin this as fast as you can for as long as you can. All right. So for this one, because you really want the tube to hang down into the bucket, um, what I've done is just got a weight that I'm gonna throw around the tube here. Tighten it up and use that to make sure that it goes straight down. And into the bucket as I spin. Uh, don't worry, it's a imperial spanner, 916, so useless, except in America. All right, so then it's very simple. All you want to do is give it a good spin. The only issue, as you might notice, there is no balancer. So it rocks like ACDC. And you've got to try to keep that tube in the bucket. If you can, this part is much easier with two people. One to hold on, and the other one to give it a good spin. If you can't, oh well, enjoy the ride. If your table's more steady, it's probably easier too. One more good spin. You can see there, it gets up pretty good speed inside. You can see how much water is flicked out to the outside. And obviously the faster you can do it, the better the effect. This is why washing machines go so quick. All right, I reckon that'll do. So I've taken it off now. And that's heaps better. So they're no longer sopping wet. They're just that, uh, probably slightly wetter than if you brought them out of a normal washing machine. But for hanging up on a nice sunny day, 
Perfect. So you can see here how much water we managed to get out. So that's a fair bit, I'd say that's probably over a litre. Not bad. And that's one litre that you don't have to worry about. So we've managed to spin out about a litre of water, which is obviously fantastic. That's a litre of water that you're not trying to dry out of your clothes, whether through patting down with a microfiber towel or just hanging them up, sopping wet to dry. So a much better outcome. So I'll take these out and dry them on the line. Within a couple of hours, they should be good to go. To pack it away, empty any of the water that's left. I'll do that in a moment. The washing machine comes apart, the two pieces, in theory, into two pieces, back into the tub. Spare handle, back into the tub. It goes on. Make sure you got the tube. And there you go. Robert, your father's brother. So that's, oh, there is, um, to make the spinning and to make the washing easier, there's actually stickies on the bottom, there's little suction cups. As you can see on this one, one of them's worked, and the other's not so much. But there are four of those on the bottom. So there it is. One way that you can get the washing done while you're air camping. This one from memory cost us about 60 bucks at Road Tech Marine. Uh, the only place that you can get these, Roven brand, is a Road Tech Marine brand, so that's where they get it from. Obviously there's always eBay, Amazon, uh, any of the marketplaces online, you should be able to find something similar or a marketplace for people that are selling second hand. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. As you saw there, it doesn't take too long, it's not too much effort, and for the size of it, it it's absolutely worthwhile. Uh, some of the other options include the scrubber bag or the, um, the small portable electronic ones that you need to plug into power. They've got their pros and their cons, and we'll do a video comparing all of those and put it up here at a later date. Overall though, very happy with the Rover and EcoSpin. Uh, 20 litres of water is a fair bit, so if you are off grid, then you're gonna need to consider, are uh, you just gonna wash your socks and undies? Um, you know, uh, you can probably only put one towel and, or one sheet in here, depending upon the size of your, your sheets and your towels. So you'd have to think carefully about uh, what washing you were gonna do off grid, but if you've got access to water, it's an absolute no-brainer. Works really, really well. And uh, despite a really uh, heavy hike yesterday, I can guarantee that those clothes now will be smelling like roses. Well, actually, they'll be smelling like lemon. So there it is. Definitely go out, have a look, and uh, worth a go. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, do the YouTube things. Subscribe, like it, uh, notify yourself if you want to see a comparison between the other types of washing machine. Otherwise, see you out on the trails. Have a great day.